ready to go to China right now. Is it going to be warm now? It's going to be cold there, actually. Guys, we're getting ready to go to China. So we've just arrived at the bus station in Laos. It's going to be a fun little adventure. It's eight hours on the bus to Jinghong. Babe, how are you feeling getting close to the Chinese border? I'm feel excited. I really want to see like that culture. You can feel we're getting closer. Like all the signs on the side of the road start to have both Laotian and Chinese writing. We're getting really close to the border now. It's really exciting. <laughs> So, babe, okay. yeah. explain that where we are. Just crossing China and then have some amazing food. Look at that, for 15 won, which we have no idea how much it is. Yeah. And this is Peter. Okay. Yeah, I'm Peter. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> I can't believe we're in China. <laughs> We're in a taxi, um, we just got to Jinghong and we've just been looked after by our friend Peter. We've obviously had no money as we came over the border and he gave us 100 RMB yuan, which got us lunch and he's now just put us in a taxi and we couldn't find an ATM and he said, hang on to the money, don't worry about it, but we've got his email and we're gonna try and hunt him down so we can go and say thank you but yeah it's just immediately so friendly I'm really blown away what do you think of China so far guys good I know it will be good I'm not really sure that this kind of urban development idea is sustainable. sustainable. But Big rain, everything drops. Jinghong lies in the far south of Yunnan province and is home to over 642,000 people. The town was originally known as Changhung when it was founded by Tai King Fanya Koing in 1180. Though Jinghong wasn't of much significance economically until around 1953, it's since become an important commercial center for remote mountain villages in the south of China. We noticed Jinghong was quite popular with domestic tourism. Its warm tropical climate, no doubt an attraction for Chinese tourists from the cooler regions of the country. Yeah, one, one. Yeah, one. We really don't speak a word of each other's language. Wow, look at that cloud. Oh, it's weird, huh? It's like an explosion. 
Okay, so these are our BPA free plush, uh, like reusable straws we bought in um, Thailand. How is it, darling? It's really good. Try it. It's just funny. It's okay, Tiawa. Very nice, thank you. <laughs> Things you just <laughs> Guys, we've just literally stumbled upon probably the coolest little night market I've ever been to. They're just setting up, it's still early in the night. We are January 1, 2018. Happy New Year, everyone. Today has been like this. Super rainy. I would say the biggest challenge for us in China is definitely the food. They basically add meat to absolutely everything. So we found a really nice noodle shop for breakfast and we were able to order noodles with just vegetables, but basically without the meat sauce that's supposed to go in the broth there's no flavor it's just been really really difficult trying to order food and get around but we're managing apparently this is how you see the city of Ding Hong on little bike go faster Remy our first impressions of China were lovely though I have been before for work when I used to be a travel editor I had only visited Beijing and Inner Mongolia, right up north and in the middle of winter. Jing Hong's tropical climate was very welcoming, even if it was a little bit too resort townish for us. Oh, it has a swimming pool. You want to have a jam, boys? It's a Oh, there's a cowboy. No, go straight. I can't. Careful, bikes, 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 bikes. please! No, it's Prada. No, babe, I don't want to... Like Look where you're going. Can we not smash into a car today with the, like, $100 we have left? Much better. Guys, I just think this is so clever. We figured out that this is where everyone stores their stalls goods for the markets because the markets are on every single night. We just walked through them today 
and everything's empty. I just think it's an absolutely brilliant idea. And you know, a lot of their, almost all the scooters that we've seen, and I would presume most of these as well, are electric. And you see them parked outside of little tea houses uh, with a charger pack being plugged into the power, pl uh, power boards of the tea houses. Oh my god, it says on the Yeah. Bus station. Bus. The light is so uh, bad. Yeah. Welcome to Chinese sleeper buses. I would say very efficient. Instead of making the beds probably more spacious and comfortable for all, they're, you know, making the most out of the space and obviously maximizing profits by fitting three in a row and two upstairs Whoa. but it's pretty cool huh yeah, it says... I'm so impressed with this country it's blowing me away guys we just arrived at Kunming and um, the usual negotiation of transportation this car's full this car so now you're running kind of annoying <laughs> When we got out of the bus we were quoted like 70 RMB to get to the ho hostel by private drivers and you know they always try and charge you more so we came to a taxi and got in. The taxi driver has taken us firstly the wrong way on the highway completely, tacked back so that wasted about 20. We were up the meter's up to 65 and he's just tried to drop us up the wrong hotel. Kunming so far looks like it's just this big industrial city, quite bleak, and I don't think we're going to be staying here very long. It's kind of our gateway to get to Dali. We wanted to come and see the stone forest here, uh, which is a couple of hours out of town. Like, I'm just... Yeah, Remy wants to get a haircut so that can potentially put some enjoyment into the day. Well, we just pulled into this little hotel reception to borrow some Wi-Fi. Remy's now gone looking for the hostel. We've basically been looking for about, I would say maybe 30 minutes now. The hotel reception, he actually called them and then they translate the conversation into Google Translate, just pieces of it. And her instructions to me were that the hotel, the hostel said you can try and find them again. No, like, helpful instructions on how to get here. No, like, the map isn't correct. It's supposed to be really close. I'm really surprised no one's just going to come and pick us up. Just to get from the bus station to here cost us 70 RMB, which is, like, $15 which is half of our bus ticket like last night to come 12 hours so we're at the end of our budget and we just can't afford to make like silly mistakes like this here comes Remy and I don't know that look on his face doesn't look like he's necessarily found the place apparently this hostel doesn't exist anymore and the client owner has spoken on the phone to the hotel owner here and said basically good luck finding another hotel as we just jumped on a bus much cheaper bus we're going to go to the stone forest which is about one or two hours southeast of Kunming we've booked a homestay there we were planning on taking about two weeks to get across China but we're thinking about cutting it down to a week because it's definitely chewing our budget more and it's it's a it's, place you want to visit when you have money it's a place you want to visit when you have more money for sure I think backpacking on a budget here is really really difficult and we are down to like a thousand bucks so we just arrived by this is the vibes basically it's been the longest day it's going to start to be calm. The result is actually like a quite nice little homestay. At least for tonight and then we're going to plot our next moves. Please. There was bunk beds in the other room. This is the outside of our little homestay. It's actually really nice. So 
It's a little bit overpriced and we planned it's 34 Australian a night. Shoes are out there. Look how white those shoes are, babe. Uh -oh. You see how white these shoes are? <laughs> Oh, it's the red one, love. Whoa. So it's more like grapefruit. It's more like really sour. Okay. Oh my god, it's like seagulls. <laughs> They're like fast food in over 24 hours, and it's a pomelo. Good morning guys, we just arrived to the stone forest, otherwise known as Shilin. It's going to be interesting, apparently these rocks are, I think it was 230 million years old. 